Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So this is the end of section one for our Web3 smart contract and blockchain hacking in Python course. We have about 20 videos in here. Hopefully you learned some stuff. It's a few hours worth of content. Now we covered simple smart contract interactions with wallets, with smart contracts, ERC20 tokens. We also got into manual bytecode reversing. We got into coding our own Python programs to brute force functions, do automated disassembly of bytecode and figuring out what's going on there. Then we got into signing our own transactions and utilizing that to do smart contract interactions for the purpose of hacking smart contracts. We also got into some asynchronous programming with Python for both the network side and for the contract side to start monitoring things like events and pending transactions in order to just figure out what's going on with these contracts, what's going on on the network so we can monitor things from more of an intrusion detection perspective or a forensics perspective. Hopefully you learned a lot from this. If you did, please share it out with everybody, share out the playlist, share out the videos and get the word out there so we can get some people digesting this content who will also enjoy it. Now in section two, we're gonna cover some different things and I'm working on that right now. We're gonna cover things such as using frameworks like Foundry and like Brownie to automate some of our attacks and tedious things like signing transactions and fuzzing and all of those sorts of things. And that will really help us attack smart contracts a little bit better, but you need this foundation that I just gave you where you can do everything manually when you need to do it and you understand how things are working. That is the key to hacking. You must understand the basic foundations of things and you can go really far. If you just rely on automation, rely on other people's tools, you can only go so far. So hopefully this was enjoyable to you. Now, I'm working on a lot of stuff like web development right now for building out an e-learning platform for this material. That way YouTube doesn't delete my videos and leave holes in my playlist, as well as I have other courses that are coming out later on. So if you want to follow me on Twitter in the description below, you'll get updates on you know what I'm doing and it may key you into when section two is gonna come out. Again, there's going to be a bit of delay because I have to code it. I have to figure out what I want to present in it. And I also have to do the full web development for the e-learning platform as I do not currently have one and I need to code it from scratch. So hopefully you enjoyed everything and please share it out. I will catch you all later in section two.